waste much. This call is now being recorded. Okay. So don't let us waste most of our time. All right. So my name is Alau Johnson. Um, I'm a digital marketer. So I train and I, I help business owners to um, grow their business with my digital marketing skills. All right. But majorly, I based on content marketing. I hope you are following. Hello? Yes, yes, I'm following from here. All right. So I yes, based I'm following on, here. All right. So I based on content marketing majorly. So that's what I majorly based on, content marketing. But as time goes on, I'm, you are going to understand what content marketing is and how you can also leverage on it. Because when it comes to marketing, like digital marketing, I would say content marketing is one of the most important um, marketing strategy because there's no any other strategy you want to use. There's no any digital marketing strategy that you want to use that you don't need content marketing. You need content for any other marketing you want to do. So content marketing is very, very important. All right. Okay, how many people do we have on this call? We have one, two, three. Okay, so we have like 17 persons here. Okay, that's cool. So um, I'm going to start with what introduction to digital marketing, how uh, digital marketing comes to assistance and the likes, then we move from there. All right, so by next class, you are going to be focusing on the real digital marketing strategy, but today, because I believe most of us on this uh, on this call, we are like newbie, like maybe you are not familiar to digital marketing, and it will not make any sense if I just jump to digital marketing strategy without laying foundations. I hope you understand. So without laying foundations. So I don't think it makes sense for me to just jump to the main thing without laying foundation. So what you are going to be doing today is foundation. We are going to be laying foundation on digital marketing. So, so I'm going to be, because of our time, I'm going to be sharing my slides. Yeah. I'm going to be sharing my slides to for what we have today. All right. I hope you can see my screen. Can we see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, so can you see the slide I'm sharing? Yes. Okay. All right. It's better. Now. It's better. Okay, that's yeah. that's great. That's great. So um like I have said today, we are just going to focus on introduction to digital marketing so that we, we are going to lay foundation so that what I'll be saying, all the things I'll be saying in the next class will not just be like Spanish to you. Because if you don't understand what the foundation is, it will not be easy for you to grab what I'll be saying later today. All right, so um, I put it together here. I say digital marketing career track it's a program that gives you the opportunity to understand the balance between the creative technology and analytical part of digital marketing. So the whole point I'm trying to make here is that digital marketing career, it's able to track the program that gives you the opportunity to understand the balance 
between the creative technology analytic and analytical part of digital marketing. So I want to lay this foundation. I want to lay this foundation. As a digital marketer, there are several ways you can um, utilize your skill. There are several ways. Several ways. Like myself now, just like I've explained before, like myself, my digital marketing skills, I'm using it to train people, just like the way I'm training you guys. All right. So I'm using it to train people. And at the same time, I'm using my digital marketing skills to build my brand, my business. And at the same time, I'm also using my digital marketing skill as a service for people. But for the service, I do that on a demand. All right. So I'm doing it on a demand. So I don't do it anyhow. I only do it when people come to me. Johnson, I want you to help me to uh, promote this product. I want, I want, I want you to help me to create awareness for this product. Can we use Facebook adverts? Is it YouTube advert that we can use? Is it um, LinkedIn advert? Is it Twitter advert? So it's when they come to me that I only render my digital marketing as a service. You understand? So I do that on a demand. So you can choose to. Um, use your digital marketing skill as you want. So it's not limited to rendering service alone. No. It's not limited to rendering service. Maybe like helping people to run Facebook adverts, Google adverts, SEO, um, search engine marketing, and all those things. So it's not limited to, to, that, to those ones. So if you are the kind of person that have a business, maybe a startup business, you can use your digital marketing skills to grow it to grow it all right so that's it so let's move to the next slide all right so this is the module one introduction to digital marketing so i put my definition here i believe this code is uh this call is being recorded right yes it's being recorded so you can so that you can go through it maybe after the class so i put my definition here i said digital marketing is the marketing of products or service. So it's very simple. It's not something that is very complex like that. When we talk about digital marketing, it just, um, it's just a means of marketing a product or services using digital channel to reach customers. You know, before there's something that we call tradition, traditional marketing. So those traditional marketing are the kind of marketing that people need to knock from door to door to go and meet people. Okay, I have this product. Um, come and patronize us. We're going from from Lagos to Abuja to go and market a product. Be moving from Abuja to um, Kano, like that, like that. But with digital marketing, right in your bedroom, you can sell product to even people outside the country, people outside Nigeria. So that's what um, digital marketing means. Marketing, marketing of products or services using digital market, digital channels to reach consumers. So we are still going to talk about those channels later. So the key objective is to promote brands through various forms of digital media. In a layman, in a layman term, digital marketing is simply using the normal marketing. Promotion of use of services, your promotion of use of services. Your brand using electronic device, social media, and other technologies and techniques that are available on the internet. So in a layman definition, the digital marketing is simply using the normal marketing, just like the normal marketing that everybody is used to. I believe everybody here should know one or two things about marketing, right? Right? So I believe one or two... Uh, Everyone here should at least should have understanding about what marketing is. At least we go to market, we buy stuff. And I'm very sure some of us will have sell something. It may not be something tangible like that, but you'll have sell something. So you have idea about marketing. Like you want to market something to people. So in the layman terms, digital marketing is simply using the normal marketing promotion of use of services, your brand using electronic device, social media, and other 
technologies and techniques that are available on the internet. Yeah, so, you know, I have said it earlier. So we are going to be doing more of talking today because this is introduction. So by next class, we are going to be doing more practical and less of talking. You understand? So the history of digital marketing. So why it is easy to remember a time before digital marketing, it's hard to picture a world without it, without it now. But you can trace the beginnings of this groundbreaking form, groundbreaking form of consumer engagement all the way, all the way back to the late 18th. I hope I'm not talking to myself. Oh, I'm following. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Then. So. So that is history. We are going through the history of digital marketing. Now, you know, today I told you we are laying foundations, foundations, so that by the time we started going to the main thing, what I'll be saying will not be new to you. You understand? So move to the next slide. Now, who is the father of digital marketing? This is a bit of trick question as there is no single father for of digital marketing. So now the question is who is the father of digital marketing like who is the person that brought this digital marketing into existence but yeah we don't have any single we don't have single father for digital marketing so some 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 argue that William Marconi who invented the radio is in 19 in 1896 was the world first digital marketer so that was the man that invented radio they say he was the first digital marketer but others will say that computer engineer Ray Tomlinson should be credited with the birth of digital marketing because he sent the first ever email. So the first man to send email in 1971, which was Ray Tomlinson, should be credited for digital marketing because he was the first person to send email in 1971. Why there are several marketing luminaries that have made sizable contributions to the field. Few have, few have had made the kind of lasting impact in the marketing world, like Philip Kopitler. All these ones that we are saying is not necessary, but it's very important to know. All right? Because if you want to be training uh, people digital marketing, just like the way I'm doing, so you need, you need to lay foundation for them. So that what you'll be saying will not look like Chinese to them. All right? So. Okay. So now, we are see on who is the father of digital marketing. This well-known American professor has penned more than 60 marketing books and is praised for his effort of establishing marketing as a field of academic study. So Coppola also argued that marketing was an essential part of economics and proposed that demand for goods and services was not only influenced by price, but also by advertising, promoting direct mail, retail and contribution channel. So they said Coppola also argued that marketing was, was an essential part of economic so in everything i do tell people in everything you do in this life marketing is involved there's no how marketing is involved even if you have not said if you are not selling anything marketing is involved okay i'm very sorry for this word i want to say i'm uh it's not that i'm i want to like it's not about religion or something. i'm also a christian so i go to church in church right in church they do marketing. They do marketing. Your pastors do marketing for you in, in order for you to pay offering. The preaching, part of the preaching, there is marketing there to persuade you to pay offering. So no matter what you want to do in this life, marketing is involved. Even if you want to beg for something, you need to, you need to persuade the person you want to beg from before you can get that thing. You need to 
That means you sell something in exchange for it, for the thing you want to collect. Let's say you want to beg somebody for money now. You will need people, you need that person to see, like to feel emotional. Maybe you tell the person, you can tell the person that you have not eaten um, for the past three days. So that is a marketing. So that person will be, uh, this person that I'm not eating for three days. Okay. So let me just look into the person. Okay. Let me just give him or give her this little chain. So that is marketing. So this, what this guy is saying here is that marketing is very essential part of economy because for goods and services, it's not influenced by the price alone. If you have a good, if you don't market it, you are not going to make sales. And if you don't make sales, you are not going to make money. If you have a service, I don't want to know how good you are in that service. If you don't market it, if people don't know you for it, there's no you can sell. And if you are not selling, there's no you can make money. So marketing is very essential. Very, very essential. So that's the bottom line of this slide. All right. So the next slide, this one is, okay. So this one is just evolution of digital marketing. Evolution of digital marketing. So 1990, all this one our story. 1991, American online, all these things. Before it was um, 1990, that was Prodigy Computer Service. Then 1991, that, that was America online. 1992, SMS and messaging. 1994, that was first online display ads. All these things, you are still going to understand all these things, like SMS messaging. I believe everybody should know SMS messaging here. Yeah. So all those messages that you do receive from MTN, Airtel, SLR, and all these things, they are SMS. They are SMS um, messaging. Then direct ads. So those are the ads that you see in mobile app, mobile apps. So those are display ads. That one was was evolved in, I think, nineteen ninety four. Yeah, according to this. So in nineteen ninety five, Yahoo search engine. In nineteen ninety six, email marketing. In nineteen ninety seven, AIS media, which launched mobile payments and SEO. Okay. Then nineteen ninety eight, ICM and Google. So and like that, like that, like that. Like that, like that, like that. So these graphics, I I'll find a way to let these graphics get to everyone, so you can study the graphics. I don't want to waste so much time here because we have already, we don't have time. So let's move. Let me move to the next slide. Okay. All right. So evolution of digital marketing. Why market is evo evolving at a pace faster than ever before. The truth is that it has always been evolving. The progression of modern marketing can be broken up into the following stages. I want you to pay attention to these stages. I want you to explain. Then we have the sales orientation area. Era. So during this sales orientation era, the competition was the hallmark of this era. Following the industri industrial revolution, business were struggling to sell their mass made product as a result of branding and sales be, became important pillar as suppliers surprise surpass demand and company had to compete for customer so now during this era customers like the brand like um companies were competing for customers they were comp they were competing for customers. Business were struggling to sell. Like there were there, there was no sales. Like those custom, those companies, they are struggling to get customers. They are struggling to get clients that are going to buy into their products. So they were struggling then during this sales era. So now there's another era, which was I think relationship era. Yes, is it relationship era? Okay, the marketing era. The first one is, was the sales orientation era. So what they what they are paying attention to then was sales, how they can make sales. They were not even putting marketing into consideration. They were just open for sales then. Then the marketing orientation era from the second half of the 20th century onward 
markets became heavily saturated, leading companies to give marketing professionals the opportunity to earn their skills on a more strategic level. So during this time, during this marketing orientation era, from the second half of the 20th century award, markets became heavily saturated. The market was very saturated. Companies, leading companies to give marketing professionals. So then they were, they were giving back marketing professionals the opportunity to own their skills on a more strategic level. So this marketer will receive more of say in what the company produced. Its contribution channel and so during this time, the companies were just like all their hope was on uh marketing professionals. Like those, it was those marketing professionals that would give them the idea what to do, all right, what to do, this kind of channel to do to use to market the product, the kind of pricing that are going to price the products. Okay, if they are producing a product now. Okay, I want us to be selling this product for five hundred dollars. So it's it's the marketers that will give those ideas. That was the marketing orientation era. All right. Okay, so that was the marketing orientation era. I hope you are following me. So if you are following me, let me know the last era I just mentioned, like the previous one I mentioned. Sales orientation era. Okay, thank you. That means you are following me. Okay, thank you. So this is the marketing orientation era. So let's move to relationship. Yes, the relationship marketing era. I think that's the era we are in now. That's this is the era we are that our people are focusing on now. Like myself too now. My for my business, I'm really focusing on this relationship marketing era this relationship marketing era, right? So you get to understand, what is that? So you get to understand uh, what this relationship marketing era is. They said during this time, the focus of company shifted toward customer loyalty and building a long time relationship with customers. Marketers were starting to realize that generic marketing campaign, ad sales and no size fix all messaging were an outdated approach to any a customer's cross. So I want you to pay this. I want you to pay attention to this because I'll be revealing some things to you regarding this relationship marketing era. Because just like the way I said, this is the kind of marketing uh, we are in now, and I'm also implementing this kind of marketing to my own business. All right. So when we talk about relationship marketing, right, you you relate with customers as if you are relating with your spouse. The way you are relating with your customer should be the same way you relate with your spouse. For you to end their trust, to, for you to end their loyalty, you, how, how do I want to put it? You put them first. You put customer first into your business. Like your focus should be on customer customer satisfaction okay how you can solve your customer's problem that's why you see all these companies they are really paying much attention into customer service customer service like all this mtn and every even almost all the brands now they are paying it very close attention to customer service because they know that it is when they treat it is when they treat this customer right and they build a close relationship with them, a long time relationship with them. That is when that is when they are going to buy from them. And apart from buying from them, where is the noise coming from? So apart from buying from them, apart from those customers buying from them, they will also refer their family member, their friends to them, like to the company. So this relationship marketing era is very, very important. You need to relate with the customer with your customers as if you are relating with your spouse. 
All right. Yeah. Now, you know, we just discussed about relationship uh, marketing era. Now, I want to discuss about social media, social media marketing era. So, I think we are seeing this era right now, the relationship marketing era. So, this era marks where we are now. Just like the way I explained before, I said there's something you call traditional marketing. That was what they were using before. But now we are using, we can use, um, what is it called? We can use social media, like the digital marketing. We can use social media. If you are in Nigeria, I want to sell to people in Australia, in Canada, in US, in the United Kingdom, in Canada, uh, in wherever, wherever country you want to sell to people. You don't need to travel to those countries, just like the way they are doing before, doing the traditional marketing. You don't need to travel to those countries before you sell to them. You can actually target them through social media. You can target them through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, through LinkedIn, through Google adverts, like YouTube adverts. So you can sell to them through social media. So that's the era we are, we, are, we are now. So this era marks the era we are now with the proliferation of social media. Companies can more interact, uh, can more easily interact with their customers in real time. All right? So co companies, they can now interact with their customer in real time. Like now, before, you see people, even you know, if they want to do anything, any small thing, like they have to go to bank. Any small thing, they have to go to bank. Any small thing, they have to go to bank. But now, you can actually discuss with bank with your bank customer support through social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever you want any channel, you can you can interact with them. I think most of the banks are even using WhatsApp now. So this is so this is the social media area that we are now. So custom uh, companies can more can now interact with their customers in real time very easily. So with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, becoming reigning form of networking. So engagement has become a critical success factor to business. So if you like this era now, the social media era, you can easily engage your customer. You can know their mind, what they want. Because in every business you are doing, you are all to, you are all to, provide what the market wants, not what you, you want. Because if you provide what, if you are trying to provide what you want, like what you want, like if you are trying to produce what you want, what you want, it will be very difficult for you. But if you are producing what the market wants, like you already have the audience, what they want, you produce it, like the sources is going to be massive. You understand? So those people are using Facebook, Instagram to interact with their customer, to engage with their customer. What is our customer need? What can we do better? Like that, like that. Yeah. So the automation, marketing automation, all these things, we are still going to talk about it in real time, right? So marketing automation. In the social media era, it is it's nearly impossible to maintain one to one relationship with your customer, unless you automate your task. Enter marketing automation. This technology allows companies to increase op operational efficiency and grow their revenue without any manual work. I believe we should just have, we should have gotten an idea of what this marketing um, automation means. Yes, should have gotten an idea. Because most of the companies now, they are using automation. Yes, they are using automation. Because let's say now, a customer support now, like 1,000 persons have issue that they want to be solved at the same time. So how do you expect one just one customer support to attend to 
1,000 person without any delay. So that is when automation comes in. If you notice, if you go, if you are, if you are familiar to Facebook Messenger, you can try that today. If you are familiar to Facebook Messenger, if you go and chat, maybe a customer support, maybe for your bank or anything, you see that they will have automated the the stuff, the messaging stuff, so that it, it will be prompting you. Like it will prompt, you can say, okay, when it send hello, you can say, hello, it's you tag your name, hello. Okay, so what can we do for you? Then you talk. So if it's something that that automation can respond to, that can help you to resolve it. It will resolve it without human being being involved there. So everything has been automated. You understand? So this makes uh, companies to increase their operational efficiency. So instead of 1,000 persons to, to just queue and be waiting for one person to attend to them one by one. So they will up, up, uh, automate the process. The bots, like the automation system, can actually reply to the 1,000 persons at once. Yes. It can, auto, it can respond to 1,000 persons at once. So that's the um, marketing um, marketing automation that's what companies are using now to increase and uh, to increase their operational efficiency just like myself now that i'm not even i'm not even big brand like that i use automation for my whatsapp i can say 90 percent of my whatsapp like 90 percent is automation because i'm a kind of busy person so i don't really reply to any kind of chat anyhow like that so i've automated you if you send me okay if you send me Hello, Mr. Johnson. Can you drop your account details? My bot will reply you with my account details and you make payment to me. So I automate my own WhatsApp too. You understand? So it makes work easier for me. So instead of me to be replying to like 100 persons at once, so I'll just set automation. So what I will I will set automation. I will give you the keyword that I should reply with. Once you reply with that keyword, my automation, my Automation system will trigger you with response. I hope you understand. So, Techopedia Divine Market Automation as the use of software and just like what I've explained, as the use of software and web based service to execute, manage, and automate marketing tasks and process. It replaces manner, manual, and repetitive marketing processes with purpose built software and application grid towards performance so most of this automation um is 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 software so you can use software and web-based service to execute it so all you just have to is to to set it up you can set it up once and you keep working forever like to what you want it so and for this automation also i do it, i use it for my email marketing now Let's say I want to send email to 1,000 contact, like 1,000 email. I can send it at once. And let's say I want to send, I want to keep sending email to those people for one month. So I can set everything down at once now. I can set it down at once. Then I will just automate it. The email will be sending for the 30 days without me engaging, without me pressing any button. So I will just set it up and so that those are the kind of automation, automation, automation. So that's it. So let me let's move to the next. All right. So we just discussed about um okay, we just discussed about automation marketing, right? Marketing automation. Now we are talking about offline digital marketing, very bold, you know. Digital marketing is not limited to social media and all these things we have mentioned before. So we have online, those ones are online digital marketing. So these ones are offline digital marketing. So such as billboards, everybody should know billboards now. People that we normally see by, by the old side and all these things. Then radio, I believe everyone should be familiar with radio and TV. So some of the most common offline media channel for advertising include billboard radio spots and 
television ads, right? So just because online marketing has become a permanent fixture in your business plan does not mean offline digital marketing can also help reinforce your brand strategy. So what I'm trying to say here is that a lot of people believe in online marketing, just like myself. I cannot want to run adverts, but it's very rare for me to say I want to go and run adverts on radio or on TV or billboards. Although it's something I can do, but for now, I don't think I really need that. So I prefer to run adverts on Facebook, run advert on Instagram, run advert on YouTube to sell whatever I want to sell, to target whoever I want to target. So instead of me to go to radio or television or this thing, but just know that so, uh, offline digital marketing too can also help you to reinforce your brand strategy. So it's also useful. But don't take our don't take my word for it. Here are some statistics to back up our theory. So these are the statistic statistics from um, offline digital marketing. Is anyone following me? Yeah. Oh, am I too fast? Hello, am I too fast so that I can know? No, 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 no. We we are with you, sir. Okay, okay, that's good. Then. So, um, so these are the statistics. We are still going to go to some strategy section too. So let me just finish this slide. All right. So, um. Uh, the statistic, a total of three out of 10 drivers feel more inclined to visit shop, business, or restaurant after seeing a billboard advertisement. Hmm. 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 I hope you understand the statistic. A total of three out of 10 drivers feel more inclined to visit a shop business or restaurants after seeing a billboard advertisement so what i'm trying to say is that if 10 drivers are like just driving on the road and they see a billboard of a business yeah of a business or restaurants or any billboard so it's very rare for 10 of them to patronize those shop like those business because of the billboard it's very rare for even three of them to patronize. Do you know why? The reason is because they cannot relate. Like they, they don't relate, you know, for 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 some kind of people to see billboard and 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 patronize the business. I don't think drivers drivers can do that. Although if if they are kind of literate driver, okay, they can just see the okay. Ah, I love this billboard. I even love the um the the brand like the brand okay let me just patronize them then the person just type their phone number then find a way to patronize them but it's very rare for 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 the 10 drivers to do that right so now the second task statistics over 92 percent of americans over the age of 12 listening to radio each week resulting in an audience of more than two Three, five more listeners. Okay, so let me ask this question. I want to ask this question. Among all of us that we are here, who can tell me if they are listening to radio today, like you on radio and listening to it today? You can unmute and let me know. I do. It's a long time I listen to radio. <laughs> it's a long time. I listen to it like almost mon every Monday to Friday. Yeah. Oh, wow. that it's a long time I listen to radio myself. <laughs> Even me, I don't remember the, the last time I listened to radio. So, the reason I'm asking this question is that it's very rare for somebody to go and advertise his or her business on radio and me, particularly to patronize the person. In the sense that it is when I listen to the uh, to the radio that I will hear about the advertisement. You understand? So I can say um, people in Nigeria within the age of, let's say, 
between the age of 18 to let's say 18 to um, let's say 35 18 to 35 it's very rare for us to see like 30 percent of those people like within that age range that are listening to radio it's very rare to see 30 percent they don't really listen to radio only those that love sports maybe they love sports then they will listen to sports um, radio or you are in a vehicle and the driver is playing radio so you can listen but for 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 you to just um on radio and listen to it very rare for us to see 30 percent so now the kind of people that listen to vid to radio in Nigeria, like in Nigeria, yeah, are old people, like that they really believe in listening to radio. So now, this I'm giving uh, this example is that there's something called target audience. We are still going to go into that. It's possible going to that, but not, it may not, it might not be today. There's something you call target audience. When we talk about target audience, it means people that really need that thing that you are selling. You are selling, okay. Let me say you are selling a shoe now. Okay. I want to ask this question. You are selling a shoe. All right. A shoe of uh a, a like for 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 a two years child, two years old child. If you want to sell that shoe and you want to target the audience for that shoe, who are the people that are going to target? I want some somebody to answer the question. If you can if you can answer it very well, I owe you something. Nothing more than you target, you target the, mother, the parents or maybe target the parents. The child. You target Almost the parents. Actually, children that um parents that has children within that specified age. That's a who you target. So you target parents. You target you target people within the age of uh thirty five uh to fifty. You, you just target parents. Once you target parents, you are likely to make it sick. Thank you. So I don't even know how many people want to do this now. I have billions of people in my class. That's good. Um, now you can you can meet yourself. So there's something I want to explain. Hello, please meet yourself. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Chirima Joyce Ufako. Okay, okay, welcome. Please meet yourself. Thank you. Okay. So um, the reason why I asked that question and all of you gave me a fantastic answer to you. Right, I love you. I love your answer. Please, that person should mute itself. Can I do that from yourself? So, the reason why we cannot target two years old child is because the person does not, the child does not have a purchasing power. Like the child cannot buy something for herself, for her, for he or herself. So that's why we have to target the mother. So that mother now is a target audience. It's our target audience. I want to say she. Right that mother is our target audience. So now I want to sell the shoe now. I need to know this woman. Is she the kind of person that listens to radio, or is she the kind of person that watch television, or is the kind of person that dwell much on social media, maybe like Facebook? Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and like that. So I need to know that because that's what we determine where I will target her. So if she's the kind of person that listening to radio, so if I want to sell that kind of product, I can go and advertise that product on, on radio. And I, there's a possibility, there's higher possibility that she's going to buy. I hope you understand that. So that's how target audience works. So if I want to sell to people within the age of 35, okay, let's say 40 upward now, I will see that those kind of people, they, they will be listening to radio. So if I see advertise my product on radio, they see a chance that I will make sales. But if I want to sell to somebody within the age of 18 and 30, and I'm marketing the product on radio, like it was not really make in Nigeria, I'm talking about Nigeria now, 
it does not really, really make any sense. God is very here for you to, to sit down and be listening to radio. He's very here. So I'm I'm mentioning this so that I'm saying all this so that you can understand uh target audience and all the lies when it comes to marketing, marketing. So there are some aging, there are some kind of people that are listening to radio. And there are some kind of people that no matter how good, no matter how good your marketing is, if they see your advert on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, they can never buy from you because they believe you are a scammer. <laughs> yes, yes. And there are some people that, there are some people that if they hear your advert from radio, without even thinking twice, they will go and buy what that thing you are selling. So you need to know all those things. They are very important to know. Okay, these are the kind of people that need my product. These kind are the kind of people I want to sell to. Okay, so how can I target them? Is, is it on social media that I target them? Or is it on radio, or on television, or on people? So you need to know all that. And how can you know it? It's through research. So why you want to market your product, you need to do a lot of research. Your market research, product research, and the like. So uh, I'll spend so much time here. So let me just move on. Then the senior citizens spend nearly 50 hours per week watching television, which means running commercial is likely to effectively influence their shopping de uh, decision. So this one is just USA statistic. It's not, it's USA statistic. So they said citizen, uh, senior citizens in US, they spend nearly 50 hours per week watching television, which means running commercials is likely to effectively effectively influence their shopping decision all right so so that's the uh i think that's that's the end of uh the history uh history of digital marketing like introduction to digital marketing introductions to digital marketing all right so now do, you, do any anyone have question? Do anyone have question? Hello. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Do you, will you have questions? Uh, is, there, is there any way we can get um, a Nigeria specific statistics? Because I heard you say this is American statistics. Yes, the statistics, the statistics I just shared is American. So, during, while I was explaining that stuff, I've already shared some things. I give you age range. That from between this age range is what I've done. So I'm giving you the example that with, within this age range, let's say you want to sell to youth within the age of 18 to 30, the best way to target them is using social media. Because, you know, social media is, is, very, uh, is very easy to influence people, like influence youth these days. You understand? So, but if you are selling to, people within the age of like old age let's say from 45 40 40 45 50 like that like that you can use radio use television although we are still going to go deep we are going to go we are still going to go deep more into this if you have less than we have less than one hour too thank you very much so any other person it may not be if you have any question related to marketing uh, digital marketing even though i have not made mention of it today you can just ask Pius, do you want to say something yes um what i want to bring to to to, to the attention of the members is actually I think marketing uh, today uh, is moving with the age. 
um, for example, I, I, I am one person doing marketing on, uh, on, on honey. I have a honey product. I, I process honey and other bee products like uh, propolis and so on. But the marketing, the marketing challenge we faced is that one, we were going one way of social media. But we realized that a number of the youth or the young people who are on social media are actually not uh, so much interested in the honey and they do not use these products. And the biggest uh, population that is in the age gap of, uh, of uh, 40 uh, onwards are the ones who consume uh, the honey. So uh, we realized that we actually had gone digital through social media, Instagram, LinkedIn, and so on, and things weren't moving in the best way possible. So your point of talking about the radios, the newspapers, and, uh, and the TVs works so much better for the other population, which is uh, uh, from the age of 40 onwards. Because these are people who want to get news, these are people who want to know updates, and they want to use formalized um, uh, media uh, instruments, such as radios, TVs, and so on. Now, when you go to our elderly people, especially the retired group, the retired civil servants, and so on, those who are in the age bracket of the retired people, you'll find that those people all the time have newspapers around them, and they have radios around them. So when you go with radio, you know that is a, 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 a gap or target group. If you are target group are the aged people, then you have them. So that, that, that is my contribution I wanted to make. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Pao. I really appreciate it. So, Pao just made a great point, right? Just make a great point. Like that only now, the only that you just made mention now. If you want to say only, and you are targeting, <laughs> you are targeting youth, it's a long thing, like a very long thing. Because I don't even remember when last I consumed only. <laughs> I don't, I prefer to use sugar to take whatever I want to take. So if one sell that kind of product, you know that it's old people that need it. Between the age of, let's say, 40 or old. So, and to get those people, to be sincere with you, before those people can buy stuff on social media, the seller is going to do like this. Because they believe that anything on social media is scam. <laughs> it's scam. So it's, like in Nigeria, I'm talking about Nigeria now. I can't say for other country. Like now, if you want to sell to old age in US, like I have people that do drop shipping. I don't know if you are familiar with drop shipping. I also do drop shipping also. If you want to sell to uh, people like in old age in United States, United Kingdom, Australia, whatever country you want to sell to, you can actually target them through social media. Because it seems those people they believe more in social media than, than here in Nigeria. Because here in Nigeria, whatever those old people see on social media is calm. I don't want to know what you want to see. They say, ah, they have come again, all these scammers. But once they hear it from radio, it will influence their shopping decision. So they will, they will ah, anything they hear from radio is true. Whether the person is a scammer, it depends, the thing is true. So, thank you, Pai, for the great contribution. So, um, Shike, I think you want to ask something. Shike, do you want to ask a question? Hello, Shike, Shike, or oh, Shike, hello. Hello, do you want to ask a question? That was fantastic from Pius. Okay, thank Fant you. Fantastic, fantastic insight from Pius. Thank you, Pius. CK former. Do you want to say something? No? If you want to say something, just just raise up your hand and let's discuss this. I want this section to be interactive. So today, like today now, we just did introduction. Tomorrow we are um I said tomorrow, the next class we are going to be going to the uh, marketing strategies. Like I'm going to be talking about social media marketing. I'm going to be talking about content marketing, email marketing, mobile marketing, SEO, which is search engine optimization. We are going to be talking about 
search engine marketing, SEM. So that topic, we are going to be spending two classes on that, like the social media, um, the market, the old digital marketing strategy. All right. So we still have, we still have enough time to discuss today. Because by next week, we, no more, we may not have this kind of time we are having now to discuss. So if you have any question, maybe you have any question, it can be a uh, question that does not even relate to what I just discussed today. So you can just ask. So you can just um, come up with insights and like that. Hello, hello, mentor. Uh, yeah, my, my, my name is L. I offer editorial services, particularly editing, um, editing content writing and all that. I've been trying to uh, market um, a training program where I will have to I will have to train people on how to edit manuscripts and all that, and I'm not getting any responses. I, I put it on Facebook, and nobody, only one person has so far registered for the program, and I'm wondering what the issues um, are, why people are not really, they, all I have are people just say, okay, we like, they are clicking like, like, and nobody is, uh, so I don't know, <laughs> you are laughing, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the issues are now, but I, I believe that my target audience is on Facebook, that's why I've been on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so um, I think I have a solution to that. Yeah. Um, Okay, you said you posted on Facebook, like on your Facebook timeline, right? Just Facebook timeline, all you want to advise for it. Hello, sir. Please can unmute yourself so that I can... Yeah, timeline, yes, timeline. Okay, so now, is it a paid class or free class? It's a paid class. Okay, so let me tell you where the issue is. The issue mm. is people don't like buying. Like they don't oh. like buying. They don't like buying. <laughs> They want to see value up front. You okay. understand? Yeah. So in this kind of scenario, what you need to do is you need to apply lead magnet strategy. Have you okay. heard about lead magnet before? No. No, no, no. So I I do tell my students, my own definition of lead magnet is giving people bribe in exchange for their for money. It may not be money. It's in exchange for something from them it okay. can be it can be maybe their contact detail yeah their contact detail maybe email phone number their home address i'm not using that as it can be any other mm. thing mm. so now let me now relate that to what you just asked now mm. you want to organize a class so the first yes. thing you need to do now is to create a lead magnet so that lead magnet can be a free training on the particular stuff you want to sell. So that okay. question can be, can just be basic of okay. the main, of the main, um, what do you call your, this editorial stuff? Yes. It can, just be, it can just be basic. So with that, you have enough people showing mm. interest in okay. it. Okay. So when you teach them the basic, that they see the value there mm. to, to, bring their, to bring out their money, to buy from mm. you, you know, you know the problem. Mm. Oh, so that's, oh, oh. So that's, so that's, that's the it. gap. That is the gap. That is just it. So it's very yeah. easy. Like, so what you are going to do now, instead of you promoting the paid class, you not promote the okay. paid class. Okay. You're promoting free. Okay. For them to, you can. What I would advise you to do, if you are the kind of person that use WhatsApp very well. Yes. Yes. So you can bring them down to your WhatsApp from Facebook because it's not easy to, to Facebook is not me. I don't really like Facebook like that. Okay. So you can bring them down to WhatsApp. Yes. You know WhatsApp is like one on one this thing. It's yes. Like one on end to end uh, this thing. It's only you can have uh, you can interact. One on one interaction. One on one interaction. Exactly. exactly. So you can bring them to WhatsApp. Mm. Just tell them to save your contact, to save their contacts. Mm. Then okay. after they have after they have done you, you have done that, you can add them to group, to WhatsApp group if you want to. But for me, I don't use WhatsApp group because it's very stressful. I don't like mm. doing class on WhatsApp group. So I want 
another option you can use instead of WhatsApp group is you can create uh, a free product. Mm. When I'm talking about free product, it can be a digital product, it can be in ebook format. Okay. It can just be like ebook of like five pages. Mm. So just brief, um, just the basic of those uh, editorial listing, like mm. your stock. Can just brief it there in the ebook. It cannot. It may not be ebook. It can be podcast, like audio book. Mm. Mm. So you give them that. You give them access to that for free. Mm. You understand? Okay. So by the yeah. time you give access for free, uh, you know you already save their contacts on your WhatsApp. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you cannot be promoting that paid um offer on your status. Okay. okay. With that, oh. it's very easy for them to buy because they already they already have a taste of what you're yeah. about to teach them. Okay. Oh. This works oh. better. So that's what I use. So if you apply this, I think it should work for you also. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you. So uh any other person to any other person? Do we have any other person that wants to? Why we were? Why is everywhere quiet now? So we don't have any other question. Nobody have any other question to talk about. Um, I just like to contribute to what you said. Right. Okay. Um, regarding the last question, my name is Tosin, and um, I'm based here in the UK. Um, concerning what the man said about free, yeah, many people would not want to pay until they have a taste of that. I can confirm to that because I run a technical business here. Um, I remembered when I, I did pay for my course and everything, I didn't get much, but at the end of the day, most of the things I learned, it's from the free stuff here and there. And at the end, I paid for some subscriptions. You see, I still end up paying from one of those free tasters. So regarding that guy question, I would say go ahead and give those free tasters to people. Because these days, there's lots of free stuff out there, but how do you stand out? Many people would not pay until they see the free stuff. And then when you're creating those contents of your free stuff, um, make sure you try and give tips of the things that people will find really difficult. Because we, people don't want to just see general, okay, how to set up my editing or how to put up my Adobe or stuff like that. You want to give them a tip of those really tough things that they find. So, because I know sometimes people say, oh, let's give free. And you give the general free. Just give a tip of you know, those most difficult things yeah those most difficult things just give a tips of them and yeah you might you might see business moving forward yeah. thank you very much thank you You're Aki welcome. I'm grateful thank no you worries. thank you Justin I really appreciate it that was great that's fine yeah so I hope you understand what she just said sir I do I do so I do. thank you so I want to pass this this should be general so what we just discussed now, uh, like the solution I just gave, I just gave him now. You can relate it to any business. So it's a general something. Whether your your own any like anything you are doing, whether you are selling physical products now. Okay, let me just cite an example. There's this example I do tell my students. I do cite with my students whenever I'm talking about this lead magnet because this lead magnet is very, is very important aspect of marketing. Right, that is really working. It's work like jazz. You understand? So now, let's say you walk to a store now, two store, uh, store A and store B. Two of them are selling cake, like cake that we eat. Store A is selling cake. Store B is selling cake. But store store B, okay, store B. Before you enter, uh, a store, she like she have a a tree a tray with cake, like a tray that she put some 
caught like she caught some snow snow cake there, right? But like what she caught there is for taste, is for taste. Then um store A does not have any taste. So once you just go to store A, you just okay. I want to buy cake. Okay, uh, this is the price. Now, let's say I want to buy now. Okay, let's say you want to buy. Now, you want to buy the cake now. You first of all walk to store A and you ask store A, how much is this cake? He said, $150. That is the price for the cake. Okay, the $150. Okay. Um, and she said, the cake is very sweet. It's very fantastic. It's very, uh, it's nourish, it's nourishing. It's just use those suicide words. You understand? Then, okay, you say, okay, you are coming. Then you walk to store B. And immediately you get to store B. Store B say, oh, welcome, um, welcome, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, can, you can just have a taste of our cake. And store B gave you a taste out of that cake. Right? And store B called our own cake, $170. Which one will you buy from? Which one will you buy? Remember, store A called our own $150. Uh, $150. Store B called our own $170. So which one will you buy? So I'm throwing the question to the general. The, the taste of the pudding is in the eating. You have tasted it, so you have an idea or a feel of what the real cake is all about. So you are most likely to want to pay seventy. You so pay one seventy dollars. Most likely, so you pay one seventy dollars because you already have a taste of what the real thing is like. So that is just it. That is just it. That is just it. Because I, I don't know how store A cakes looks like. I don't know maybe if I eat it finish, uh, it's very sour or I will not like it. But since I've tasted this and I really love it, I said that wow, this is it. so soft and all this thing. So I want to buy, I want to even the price is even higher than the other one. I would, I want to buy it. So that is just how it is. So you can apply it to your physical business, your uh online business, whatever. Because people love free things. They do say that you know, Nigeria love free things, but I, I come to understand that not only Nigeria love free things. It's normal human nature. So we love free things. We love free things. When we see that, oh, this thing is free, okay? We want to get, we want to get attracted to it. Even though they are still going to collect money from us after collecting, after we collecting that free thing, we don't mind. But as far as there's free yet, yeah. So that is just it. So let's say you are selling, uh, I want to talk more on fiscal product. Let's say you are selling a bag now. You are selling a bag for one uh, $1,000, like handbag, $1,000. So that bag has purse with it, purse, a small purse with it. So you are selling the bag for $1,000 and you are selling the purse for $200. Then, Another person is selling the bag and the purse, $1,200. Who do you think is going to make enough sales among the two of them? Like somebody is selling bag for $1,000, purse for $200, and another person is selling the two package for $1,200. Remember it's the same price, $1,000, $1,000. Who do you think it will make, it will make enough sales? The one that sells 1200 so why why do you think the person will because uh from the angle of the one that is selling uh separately people will see it as if it's a burden on them why the one that sell it together they will see it as ah, it's, it's being cheaper exactly i i tried Even... to re i read some book and somebody was saying that why do we see any price like if it is 200 dollars you will see the the amount is 200 dollars but the actual price they will put out will be one hundred and ninety nine point nine nine dollars. So people exactly. will see that ah, this one is cheaper. But yes. people the person that is selling it, where do you want the person to get change and give you? You would rather pay that two hundred and go. Yes, so, yes, exactly, exactly my point. Even we can even the person, the seller can even decide to say, okay, the bag is one thousand two hundred dollars, but I'm giving you the purse for free. 
and it's, it will make massive sales than the person that is sending the bag for 1,000 and post for 200. So that is does it. So that is does it. That's how it works. So you can relate that to your business, your anything, anything. I, I see it working anything. But there's a, there are different way of doing it. Let's say you are, you are doing a um, let's say you are doing a consultation uh, work now, like you do consultation for people, like people uh, you consult them maybe for marriage, counseling, um, all this, a lot of things. So it's a thing that you can offer them, although you charge them for it, let's say you charge them $1,000 per session, and each session is one, uh, one hour. So you can, to attract more sales, you can offer them something like Okay, after you purchase this my package, like the one thousand dollar package for one hour session, I'm going to give you at least maybe three minutes follow up calling, like calling phone call, follow up phone call. So that free um three minutes follow up call will make them to come and patronize you. So that is just it. So I think uh we we every, everything is clear about lead magnet and all these things now. So do you have any other thing? Since we still have enough time, so we can just flow, flow along and discuss. Do you have any other thing? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Yes, I have a question. I raised my hand. Oh, sorry. Can I ask a question? Oh, I still have a little. Oh, I still have a little. Okay. Okay, so ask a question, please. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so my question morning. is... Good morning. I want to ask about the lead generation okay. campaign because okay. last week I set up a lead generation um, campaign and I realized that it didn't really produce much results. So I had to pause it to monitor and see what could have gone wrong and so that I can reanalyze it. But I realized that it didn't still work out. So I had to create another copy by changing the creatives and all, but still the same. And even the other copy I created didn't even produce any other one. But the first one I even created still generated some lead, but it's not up to what I'm expecting. So I'll pause the other one again. Okay. I so, don't know. Okay, so are we talking about Facebook are we talking advertising? About Facebook advertising? Yes, I thought you said we should ask any question once. Or once. No, yeah, I'm yes, I'm yeah, asking question yes, like, like the campaign you the campaign did, you was it on Facebook? Was it on Facebook? Yes, yeah, sorry, it was on Facebook. Okay, okay, so um I think okay um, I so okay what is the product about what is the product about? Um the company is into health. Yeah, they health. do health, um, health. they're into health, yes. Like um they, they help in resolving people with sleep um sleep disorder, allergy and um different kind of health issues. Okay, 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 okay. Now do you, oh. are, you, are you trying to sell a product or selling a service or just want to generate goods to maybe email? It's a service. service. No, it's a service. Yes. I'm selling the want service people directly. To sign up. Yeah, they want, want people to sign up. They book an appointment. Yes, with the doctor. Oh, what can now be the issue? I can do this. Facebook can see. And are you sure you are targeting the right person? Like the right audience. The right audience. Have you done your research? Have you seen that those people you are targeting are they the right audience? I didn't care. Hello. Yes. Yes, I would say. I would say yes. Okay. Oh. That the results gotten from each other is the same. Like four for. But what according to what it does explain, since you are not selling to them directly, I believe you should convert. You should convert. Wait, wait. Uh, where are you directing them to? Uh, where are you directing them? Are you to the website? Are you... Okay. So are you direct? De are you redirecting them to the landing page? The landing land page, page or where? Land or you are using Facebook links? Yes. The website. Website. Okay, so the website you are you are, website, you are directing them to website, okay, the website them. is it very responsive? the website where they can book an appointment like is the, it, the user interface is it very is it, is it 
the user interface. Is it very clear? Yeah, I understand. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes. I understand. Yes, yes, I, I can hear you. Okay. So the question now is the landing page you so are the directing into. The landing page you are directing into. Is it very responsive? Like. Is it user, user friendly? Because those are the people that do cause um, that do cause issue for lead generation. Because if the, if the user the user interface is not is not responsive, it's not friendly. The people that landed land on the page, they can get the content and they will just exist the page. Okay. I hope you understand. So it's responsive. Yes, I understand. It's responsive. It's responsive. Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. It is. okay. So, uh, so, I can't really say uh, what the issue might be. Maybe later, you can send you can send me a DM on WhatsApp. All right. All right. So you can do okay. on WhatsApp. Okay. I can do it on WhatsApp. Sorry, what's because, the name on WhatsApp? So yeah, I, when I said chicken, I'll be able to. Okay, let me see. Maybe I can. Let me see. Maybe I can. Let me see. 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 Let me Okay, so uh, I will, so, I will uh, start. I will, I will hope you are in the WhatsApp group, right? I'm in the WhatsApp group, right? Yes, I am. Okay, I will chat on the WhatsApp group. Okay. All right, thank you. you can copy it. So I think that would be better. So I think that would be better. According to the answer to our video, it's supposed to convert. It's supposed to convert. So I don't know. Okay. So that would be after the class. Be after the class. Yes. Thank right. you. Thank you so thank much. You're welcome. Okay. I think, so if you raise your hand, I think, those uh asking to sing. Do you want to ask questions? You can stop your hand. Hello, ma. Akin to sing. You can stop your hand. Do you want to ask questions? Okay. So who else wants to ask questions? You see how sorry, no, I only contributed. Sorry. That was when I tried contributing. Yeah, sorry. All right, all right. <laughs> so, um, who has asked questions? We still have like, let's see, 15 minutes. We still have like 15 minutes. Yeah. We still have like 15 minutes. Hello, hello, mentor. Um, yes, sir. As an, as an expert, uh, what uh, social media platform? Um, is most effective to reach people, you know, what social media, because many of us are doing things that uh, um, that our major target audiences are, are young people, youths, who every day, they start, they are literally leaping on social media. You know, which social media platform do you think um, helps to reach out to this target this um, group of people more okay because I, so what i i mean I, I am a facebook person i'm not an instagram person uh, okay. i'm not i'm on i'm on twitter but i can't say that i am a major a major uh, fan of twitter you know okay. because facebook allows allows me to write i write i can write <laughs> many words as i like on facebook and i know young people don't like to read they don't like to read voluminous content, yes, so yes, they yes. prefer they prefer Instagram where they they will just see pictures. Some videos. prefer Twitter, uh, some prefer videos, some prefer Twitter where you just uh, forty five words or fifteen words they have done, you know. Yes, so yes. Uh, as an expert in this area, I don't know what your advice would be for for us who are learning from you people. Thank you. Okay, so um, what I would say regarding this thing is that. Depending on what you are selling and who you are selling to. Okay. Okay. Depending on what you are selling and who you are selling to. If you are selling like what you you are doing now, I will mm. advise the best place for you is LinkedIn. Because okay. LinkedIn is meant for serious people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so that was, anybody that you see on LinkedIn, what? just know the person is serious. It's for serious people. 
And it's only serious <laughs> people that need the kinds of thing. People that are ready to learn. Okay. But if you are selling something like fashion stuff and all these things, the Instagram. best place for you is Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> because it's Instagram. And Facebook. Mm, for Facebook. Me, I don't like you know I already said that I don't really like Facebook because Facebook mm. is side abuse. Like it's small, small children. <laughs> small, small children. Only if you target the exact people that you want. Okay. You understand? Like if you want ad parts, that that's mm. when Facebook is still good. Mm. But let's say mm. you just want to create content. Although it depends on the kind of friends you have on Facebook. Like me, I'm okay. not a Facebook person. If you see me going mm. to Facebook, we just die. I want to come up with content then. My, after my content, I will still refer them to my WhatsApp because my own WhatsApp that I base my marketing is based on WhatsApp. Currently, okay. I have like at least I have like eight hundred persons that view my status on a daily basis. Eight hundred mm. persons mm. on a daily basis. So I already built my audience base on WhatsApp. So most the of my business, content, business, business or business WhatsApp or just your. You can use any WhatsApp. Any, I'm using normal WhatsApp. No, okay. Not, yeah. So. I already built my audience base. So most of my contents are majorly on WhatsApp. Mm. You understand? So depends because I noticed that what I'm doing is, is WhatsApp that is the best place for it. Okay. So that's why I'm using WhatsApp. So you need to okay. define the place that I think mm, this thing I'm doing, the people that need it, where are they? Is it on WhatsApp? But I think LinkedIn is good, LinkedIn is good for, for your kind of thing. Okay. You understand? Okay. So LinkedIn. Okay. LinkedIn. I, I, then I, I, what, I need to go and play there. Yeah, you need to go. Just see. You see that people will start engaging with your post, start mm. engage, engaging like that. You understand? Right. So LinkedIn is for serious people. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So Pios. Uh yes, please. All right. Um I, I, I want to actually uh, say something or inquire. I don't know that it's an inquiry or a question or what, but my issue is on the premium. When we come to social media platforms, uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, you know, when you want your uh, uh, advertising, marketing, your information, whatever it is, uh, to go viral and uh, maybe saturate the whole globe, you know, their payments they, they call them premium and so on stuff and so on which is some of, some of our smes are just the startups and so on you get a point and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah some of us want really we know we have products and our products are really clean uh and we need them to go as far as the globe and so on there are so many people for example when you went to the outside countries you have so so many people who are uh, uh, maybe who take up our products and like here in uh, africa where the, you would have very few customers of honey and people are still you know sugar goers they, they still believe in sugar we have so many outsiders outside the country who don't go sugar but honey would be you know their best choice but then you are product even if you went on on, on those media platforms you are unable to reach them because you you are not premium or you have not paid those premium more platforms and so on how best can we be helped in such? And, you know, our startups are, you know, still startups and, you know, we can't reach that level. Mm -hmm. That is my inquiry. Okay, so I understand your question. So if you ask me, if you want to sell to, um, like, the best product, the best kind of product to sell to other countries, like U.S., I sell products to U.S. people, like physical products. But what I do is drop shipping. Do you know what drop shipping is? No. Okay, drop shipping is just kind of business model that I will buy a product. Like I will, I have my own store. I will have my own store, my own store, my uh, e-commerce store, just like Jumia and all these stores. You understand? Yeah. So yeah, I will, yeah, I will, yeah. I will, I will have my own store. Then I will source for products. To that store, so I will be running advert to my own store. 
Then when I get order for the product, I will shop the product from international store that can actually deliver to my customer. You know, with yeah. that, I don't with that I don't need to involve in the shipping and delivery stuff. You understand? Yeah. So it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's the platform that I ordered from that will handle the delivery. I hope you understand that. Yes. So if the kind of product is very easy to sell to other countries is digital products. Like product that once they make purchase for it, they can actually have access to it on the internet. So it does not involve in shipping or delivery. You understand? So that's yes, the best yes. product. That's the best kind of product that's easy to sell to other countries. Because this kind of your product, let's even say you find a way to target those people in the like in overseas, like in US. Let's see, let's say you find a way to target them and they place an order from you. How do you want to deliver to them? Of course, it's through shipping. Through shipping. Can you deliver to them? No. You can't. So you just have to find um, all this, maybe DHL, or what is it, what are they called? What country, depends on the country you are. So, so you just find those shipping companies, then you partner with them. So how to target them is not the issue. If you want to target them, there are several ways you can target those overseas and sell products to them. Several ways. You can decide to create your own website. I mean, driving traffic there. And you can decide to be using third-party websites, like all these uh, international websites, like I think Alibaba, Alib Express, eBay. eBay, so you can use eBay. You understand? You can use eBay, all these international platforms. There are many. AliExpress, I don't really know, maybe AliExpress, will, but eBay, I think eBay is it. Best. So once to target them is not the issue. The issue now is how to make the product delivered to them. You can target them on Facebook or Instagram at the very yeah. low price. At the yes. very low price. So that means you just have to do your research, then all these things. With as low as one dollar, you can target them, people in the US, and sell to them. But when they make payments, how do the product get to them? That's the main issue. I hope you know. I get that point. Do you want me yeah. to so come in there also? Statistics is also a major problem for people from Nigeria to the UK because you will get somebody, like what you suggest, you might see a company you can try and collaborate with and maybe just be sending directly to that company if it's possible, if you can, that's the major deal you need to get. So that what happens is they already have that product in that country location already. And yeah. so when they order, they are getting to it because for people here, it's delivery on time. If I order online, because online thing is the main thing over, I cannot wait for somebody who is telling me within 30 days. When I can see from somebody who says in the next two days, three days, I'm not going to buy from you that say delivery in the next 30 days. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'll go to that. And the only way it's possible, because I see many products like that, they will tell you shipping from the UK. Meanwhile, you know that this product, the origin, e.g. expression. Expression is Nigeria put in a before a cotton they do one. But you see that shipping from the UK. It only means that somebody, they ship directly to that person and then that person gives the product immediately and then I can get my expression attachment in two days or three days. Rather than waiting for somebody that is flying or saying, I beg with my sister, help me bring attachment. You understand that kind of thing? So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I get so I get try you. And Go online and try and see those companies that collaborate to get the product. So you are just shipping to that company or that individual directly, and then your customer or your target this thing, like you said, um, changing your directing your website address. So then you can always send that you want to buy, then click on this link and it takes them to that person that is selling or giving the product to people abroad. So that way, because logistics is another thing that needs to be yeah, right. and yes, yeah, because. When it comes to abroad people, <laughs> for us, logistics is, is everything. We don't want someone to waste my time. I need this product now, now you get it now, now. You have what you call click and click and collect here. You order now, go in the next five minutes, it's ready for you. I don't even need to enter the shop. So why will I wait 30 right. days? I don't even need to enter the shop and be looking around. <laughs> they pack it for me and put it there and then I just go. My name is this and I collect it. Do you want me to wait 30 days to collect that same attachment? No. 
you understand yeah, the point. I, I, that, so that, that, and, that's a very big point. Yeah, that's yeah, a very big so point. Trans, you can just Google it and search it. Companies or people, even like that eBay mentioned, is a very good point. Try and see some sellers, maybe that product that you know that now Nigeria they come from. So you can try and collaborate with people like that and see, can I supply you with stuff like this or something like that? And then, yeah, try and see. Everybody wants to do business. Everybody wants to make money. You might be, you, you can only keep trying. What I say to you is people is this. The worst you can ever get is a no. So you keep on going until you get a yes. A yes. I get a point. Yes, yeah, so keep on trying. You will meet one person that will be interested. Every day you have new interest. You will meet one person that is interested to do that. Again, obviously, there's this sensitivity in Nigeria, Nigeria fraud, all those things. But you will still meet that one person that wants to give it a try. Yeah. Every day to people opening business. Yes. Um, maybe what That's my... a good thing for your honey, for that honey. Yeah, you can yeah try and get that person or that company that will do it. And I promise you, once you get that person, then you can have your product shipping into people in two days or three days. Yeah, that, that that's one good challenge I've received. I think it, that's one good point uh, to Keep take on home. going. Keep on yeah. going. You will meet one yeah. person. Every day people are starting up. Everybody, everybody have access to their app and everything. Everybody has, it's so cheap to open a website now and everyone wants to promote themselves here. So you will meet that one person. Hey, something from Africa gets to you in two days. People want to hear that now, not get to me in, in 30 days. <laughs> so you will meet that one person that will do that uh, deal for you. Yeah, uh, my, my my one last inquiry is: um, mm. Do uh, are we getting notes of this? We have some when we are getting this, uh, some notes we are going on. You know, are we getting them like um, some kind of notes or? You get notes, you get product, everything you want in Nigeria. As I said, me as I am like this, me I don't bother anybody coming from Nigeria to bring things for me. Everything I want is is in the market here. I don't stress anybody buy me Maggi or buy me this because it's there and it's only through platforms like this. Like what you said, like that drop shipping stuff. It's only through platform like that. The those product gets to us in no time. Even in now you have our products in the big big shop. Our regular indomie, this stack now. You never used to be on the stacks in the shop there. You only have to go to special African shop. But right now it's on their regular big shop. You find it there, and it's only people that probably do that. You even find our regular indomie now online. You want to buy four piece or two piece? It's online, but it only takes some. I'm sure it's some collaboration that takes place. And at some point, I was going into drop shipping, but I've not gone into it fully. But it's things like that. You just collaborate. Like I said, you keep on getting a no, but wait until you no. get the yes. The worst anybody can say is a no. Yeah, the, 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 my, my last question was to the facilitators who are training this. Uh, okay. the, 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 the notes, uh, are we getting documentations of that marketing, the, the, the digital marketing, the what, you know, all those notes you are giving there, are we getting those, uh, those notes or not? Yeah, Bias is talking about notes. Are we getting the rec record? You know, this uh, session is being recorded. Perhaps it's asking okay. whether we are, whether we are going to get the recorded um, version of this our session. Yes. Okay, yes. 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 yes we we'll get it. Okay. Thank we'll you. That's, so yeah. I, I want to I want to add a last I want to add this thing to before we close. Regarding your question, I have mm. a friend. He wants a apparel business here in Nigeria. It's my guy. Although he just moved to the Canada maybe three weeks ago. Or it's in Nigeria, yes. it's not that. Yes. So he has a brand here in Nigeria, a brand, a clothing brand. Mm. And he sells to he sells to folks in the United United States. So this is what he did. He, I think he bought a space for a what for a warehouse. A space, a where a warehouse in the United States. You understand? So he yes. will ship, he will ship the clothes just like what uh the other woman just said. So she he will ship the clothes right from Nigeria to the warehouse. So whoever wants to buy in the United States, so they will be buying, like they will be shipping it from that warehouse in the United States to the buyer. So instead of them to be shipping, like when they get order, shipping from Nigeria to US. You understand? So you yes, already have yes. a warehouse in the US that. Whenever you get a order from the US, so you just 
tell people, you ask people that is partnering with them, they just deliver to um, to the buyer. So with that, it's very easy for him. So I was his marketer then. Although he has moved to the Canada, but I'm, we are still working together. So, so it's very easy. Just know how you are going to get the project to them. To target them is not the issue. So that's it. I get that point. Yeah. So I I believe we are good now. It's 12 already. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right. So, um, should we call it a day? I uh, should call it uh, the meeting. I, I think I think we should call it a day so that we can go for our wedding and go and chop party rice. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Okay, that's that's fantastic. All right. So for the recorded faction, I think um, the, um, we are going to discuss that on the group. So I am going to get access to it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. What's your name, mentor? Thank What's you. Alao Johnson. Okay, Alao Johnson. Alao Johnson. Thank you very much. Okay, Alao Johnson. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.